Hey, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this video is five things that make you prone to jealousy. There are lots of things, lots of elements in your life that can influence you getting triggered very easily. Here are five things that you know you might recognize. The first one is having problems in your life. The second one, wounding from past experiences. The third one, uh, self-esteem gap. You don't love yourself enough. Number four, isolation. And the number five, I cannot read it anymore. Let me see. What did I write there? Okay, we'll, f we'll figure it out. Um, problems. Of course, you know, if you are having trouble at work, if you are in a financial crisis, if you are, have, uh, you know, health issues, for instance, imagine that you come back from work and you had this massive challenge with a client or a customer or something. You come back home, you are all charged, you are all contracted. Of course, you are going to be vulnerable to uh, and sensitive to energetic or emotional attacks that come into your field. So you have to really watch out to not allow external problems in your relationship to have a snowball effect and negatively impact Hacked on the connection that you have with your lover or your partner. She's not guilty of having done anything that day, but you might start building up resentment towards her because you feel that uh, there, is, there is just tension in your system, in your undigested tension that comes from another source. So you have to watch out for that. Don't project external tension into the core of your relationship. That's the first one. Wounding. Um, if you had a girlfriend who cheated before and you felt betrayed, maybe it's the girlfriend that you are in with right now, maybe it's your wife, you know, if that person cheated before, then it's going to leave a wound and a certain fear or a trauma there that sometimes doesn't get healed. So having wounded from past traumatic experiences with girlfriend or wife is going to make you, of course, more prone to jealousy because you, you will feel like there is a potential threat on your, on your relationship and your couple. It's going to be harder for you to trust. Uh, number three, self-esteem gap. Um, of course, you know, if you are really in your power and you love yourself, the, the chances of something feeling threatening to you are going to be much lower. So basically, taking care of your body, taking care of yourself, realizing that you have lots of power, being at your peak is going to, you know, give a certain amount of power to your system that is going to protect you from being uh, the target of, um, you know, jealousy outbreaks and jealousy at attacks on your system. Okay. Another one um, is uh, isolation. <laughs> of course, isolation. If, if your girlfriend is your only source of social validation, she's like your target for receiving love, receiving beauty, receiving sex, you don't have many friends out there, you don't have connections with other women, it makes you extremely dependent to her. And so if you are diversifying your social life and entering contact with other people, you are going to be way less prone to jealousy outbreaks. The fifth one, I still cannot read it. Forgot about what this one was. Okay, you've got the, 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 the four tips for now. Uh, I'll see you soon for another video. Fuck.